Go. Hi, fourth grade. What we're looking at today is mixed numbers. Now, remember last session was we did reducing fractions. Before that, we did greatest common factors. So if you're still having trouble with those, make sure you go back to the previous videos to take a look at those. So today what we're looking at again is mixed numbers. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. So remember our whole numbers, we're in base 10, that's the number system we use. So we use the numbers zero to nine. These are all our whole numbers. And then we add a fraction to them. So it's a whole number and a fraction together. Okay. So take a look how we get a whole number. So if you have a fraction that's divided into fourths, and all four of them are there, we remember four fourths, we have fourths, we have quarters. So if you have four fourths, that equals one whole. You notice how it takes up the same amount of space. This is true for any fraction. So if I have three thirds, three thirds also equals one whole. See, it takes up the same amount of space. That's true if you do eight eighths, you can do 12 twelfths, you could do 30 seconds if you wanted to. If they're all shaded, if you have the whole thing, it's a whole number. Okay? So a mixed number, the way a mixed number works is you figure out how many whole numbers you have and then you figure out what the fraction is of the second group. Okay? So in this case, we have something that's divided into eighths and all of them are shaded. So we have eight eighths here, which means we have one whole piece. This thing all together is just one whole number. Then we come over and take a look at the fraction. Remember, fractions are part of a whole. So a whole number is the whole thing, would be zero to nine. A fraction is a part of a whole. So again, we take a look at how many pieces we have, and we still have eight. So your eight goes on the bottom, that's your denominator. And then you have one, two, three, four, five of them shaded in. So your fraction here is five eighths. So you bring it together with the one whole and five eighths. So all together, this is one and five eighths. The other way you could think about it is you also have, you have eight here and you have five here. So you could also write it, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You could also write it as 13 eighths. Now we're going to get into what's called an improper fraction next lesson. So just keep that in your head. But all together, the mixed number is 1 and 5 eighths. Right? One more example for you. We're going to move over to the side of the board. Okay. This one is a little bit bigger, and this one is in fourths. So again, you have four pieces here, four pieces here, and four pieces here. Notice it's always the same. Like I don't have one of these is in the fourths, one of these is in sixth, and one of these is in twelfths. They all have the same, divided into the same amount of pieces. So in this one, I have four of them that are shaded. In this one, I have four of them that are shaded. So I have one hole here, and then I have one hole here. Okay, so one and one is two. So I have two whole numbers there. Then, I've already taken care of these guys. I look at my fraction. What is the fraction of this one that is shaded? And that is one fourth. So I have two and, and there's my quarter for my one fourth, and one fourth. The other way you can think about it, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the other thing I also have is nine fourths. Now these are the same, ladies and gentlemen. This is the mixed number, this is the improper fraction. They're the same thing, okay? But for now, we'll kind of ignore this guy. Just focus on this guy. The other thing we'll see 
is you'll see them written out in words. So you have four and seven eighths. So you would have four of these eight eighths. So imagine there's four of these blocks. And then the last one, we only have seven. Okay? So four is your first number. That's your big whole number. And then the clue here that this is a fraction is the eighths. Otherwise it would be seven eight, but it's not. It's seven eighths. So we have eighths. So we have seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. And notice I put the and in a different color because that is your clue. Oh, wait a minute, I'm dealing with two different pieces. Okay. Next one is six and nine tenths. So again, imagine you had six of these 10 blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all 10 over 10 because that equals one piece. So you've got six of those. So my number is six. And here comes the fraction, nine tenths. So then I would have that little guy left, which would only be nine of them. So nine on top and then tenths on the bottom. So you have six and nine tenths. Okay. Now, little clue, I'll walk back this direction nice and slow with our what section. Okay. So if you saw something down, that looks like that. Wait a minute. We're getting all of a sudden, we have more numbers shaded than we actually have number of pieces. Okay. These are called improper fractions, and that's going to be our next couple of lessons, is what you do with an improper fraction and how you move it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Okay. But for today, remember, we're thinking about mixed numbers, whole numbers, and fractions. Okay. All right, I'll see you later for the next lesson. Bye.